All right, wait, never mind. Welcome to Tech of Tomorrow. So what's up, folks? Now, a lot of people out there, their computer starts slowing down, it starts not working right on the internet and stuff, and they kind of freak out and they think they need all these repair jobs and all this stuff done on their computer, possibly even buy a new computer. And that's really something that probably doesn't have to happen at all. There are a few things that you can do to tune up your PC to make sure it just simply runs better before going out there and spending money on an upgrade. Now, many of you guys out there in the PC master race, you guys are enthusiasts, you're gonna know all this stuff I'm gonna talk about. But for a lot of new people out there, they'll be like, oh, hey, I didn't even know that. So for you guys who are already experts, you guys can stay and chill and watch the video if you want, you know, or you can go like get a hamburger. But for you people who are like, totally don't know what to do and you're like, hey, I like this information, then stick around, keep eating and, uh, Let's go over it. Now, one of the very first things you can do, whether it be upgrade wise or even doing the adjusting is your memory. So many people, when they bring me their computer to be looked at, the first thing I do when I go in there and look at their computers, I see that their memory isn't even set to its best value. It's just set at whatever the default is. So you go in the computer, they've got memory that's at 1666, 1833, or 2033, 2133, and it's set at 1333 megahertz. Obviously, you are not getting the full value of your memory. But this can be fixed very, very easily. For Intel users, all you have to do is hop into your BIOS. And if your memory supports XMP, like the stuff I got back over here, Intel system support XMP, you can just go in and enable XMP profile one. That will solve all of your problems. For you AMD people, same procedure applies. You go into your BIOS, go into the settings, check out the voltage and the settings of your memory and make sure that you set those inside the BIOS to match it. Make sure you save your BIOS and then restart your computer. But that's a very easy thing to do. Also, upgrading your memory is one of the simplest things that you can do. If you're running a Windows-based PC, especially running Windows 7 and you've got like four gigabytes of RAM, upgrading eight gigabytes of RAM will be one of the best things that you can do to upgrade. So before you go out there and like ditch your PC or anything, first thing you wanna do is check your memory. Make sure that your memory is actually set to what it's supposed to be so that you're getting the maximum value and maximum potential out of your memory. Here you go, G. The next thing is mechanical hard drives. Now I know many people out there have upgraded to SSD, but there are probably millions of people out there, if not billions, who still have a mechanical hard drive. And what happens with a mechanical hard drive is it stores information all over the disk. And after time, it starts to slow down performance because obviously the thing's gotta go all over the place searching for the information. So if you have a mechanical hard drive and you've never done it before, you definitely want to go in, go into your system properties, check out the drive and hit that defrag button and defrag your hard drive. What the defragging will do is it will make the information more compact. It'll actually put more space on your drive and allow you to access all of that information much, much faster. Another thing is internet speeds. You'll notice that on your internet, it'll start getting slower and slower after a while. You'll think, wow, man, is my internet connection just sucking butt? And you'll go out and you run a speed test and it'll do okay. And you're like, mm, why is my internet running so sluggish? Well, one thing that you can actually do to improve that is clear your cache at least once a month. Whatever browser you're doing, just find the settings, go into your internet history and clear it out. Now, if you wanna maintain information like your credit card and stuff like that, you can go in and choose the option not to clear your cookies. So for those out there who don't know what cookies are, when you go to a website, put your information, a cookie is logged into your system so it knows that it's you. When you go back to that website, it is a little faster if you're using that website a lot to leave your cookies there because then they'll be there when you go back and your information will be there. But if you just wanna clear it all out, you can clear everything out. But like I said, if you wanna retain some of that information, clear everything out except for cookies. This can vastly improve your internet speed. And after you do this, you'll notice that your internet actually does run much smoother and much faster once again. If your mechanical hard drive has more than 50% of its capacity already used up, the drive is going to start getting slower and slower and slower because as you fill that drive up, the ability of that drive to do page filing is beginning to become less and less and less, which is gonna slow your hard drive down. So if you have more than 50% of your hard drive being filled up, it's probably getting about time to get another hard drive or get an external drive and take some of that information off so that your drive can keep running to its maximum performance. I know a lot of people are gonna say, wow, that really sucks, man. Like I have a terabyte drive and I wanna fill it all the way up to a terabyte. You can do that. 
but I've seen it happen to many people who don't pay attention to this. They go and they install something in their C drive, and then all of a sudden their system doesn't work anymore. They're like, what happened? Well, what'll happen is it'll just write over some Windows file somewhere a lot of times, and you won't be able to access that. So be careful of your hard drive. If your hard drive is getting overtly full, make sure you either take that information off it, off to an external drive, or just simply buy another hard drive, install it in the system, and spread that information around there so that every drive drives, <laughs> so that every drive drives, so that every drive works to its maximum performance value. Now this last one is something that I bet right now if you go and you look at your computer, you're gonna be like, hmm, yeah, it probably needs this. And that is actually taking your computer and cleaning it out. That's right. Believe it or not, all that dust and all that stuff collecting inside your system and your fans will make your system run hotter, which will make your system run slower. Because think about it, if you're doing any type of overclocking, even with your video card in there, NVIDIA's Turbo Boost works off what? Running cool. So if your system's all clogged up with dust, and it's all messy, then think about it. The airflow is gonna slow down, shit's gonna get hotter, and you ain't gonna be able to overclock as good. So number five is basically take and clean your system out. It's easy. Get an air can, take your system outside, blow it out. Or you people who are like into things like I do, I got an air compressor, man. I get my air compressor, I blow that sucker out, it like becomes like clean as brand new. But this is something that's very important. Look at your system. If you go to your system and you've got a big old dirt spot in the front of your fan, you know that system needs to be cleaned out. So clean it out, man. For sure, clean it out. Now this next thing I wanna talk about isn't really a performance tune-up trick, but for Intel users, this can be something that can really speed up your computer. Right now, if you have an existing mechanical hard drive, you can go out and get a low-end SSD, add it to the system, and using Intel's RST technology, you can make basically like a hybrid Seagate drive just by using that. Now unfortunately, AMD, they don't have anything like this at the time, but for Intel users, this is a pretty cool thing. If you've got any of the newer Intel boards from the last few generations, they all support this, and it's really cool. You don't even have to spend a shit ton of money on an expensive SSD. Get a low-end one, throw it in there, enable RST, and snap instant faster access. All right, folks, so there you guys have it. Five easy ways and basically a sixth one there to improve the performance of your PC. Now, this is done without using any of those weird programs out there. There are a bunch of them out there. You know, PC fix this, PC faster than fuck, you know, your PC will run faster than fuck after you use this. I don't really believe in any of those things at all. I don't know. To me, they're just going to install some weird program that you didn't ask for. And you'll go to go on the internet or something, and all of a sudden it'll be like, you know, galaxy.net sales is your homepage. So I just, yeah, I'm not really into that stuff. Stuff. I'd rather just do everything the hands-on method. So thanks a lot for watching. Also, if you guys out there enthusiasts, I know you guys all know this, and thanks for putting up with me and watching the video. For you new people, hey, I'm sure you learned something new today. Also, to be interactive, you guys know I love you folks, and we love to interact with our crowd. So if you've got more ideas and more ways, hey, add them to the comments down below and be a part of Tech Tomorrow. Love you. See you guys later.